So, today we're gonna have some color fun. Color fun, color fun. Okay, so I, I really don't know what I want to do, but I just want to use this uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Electric Blue. So, it will be something centered around this pencil is all I know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do get my eyebrows and stuff on as usual. And when I come back, we'll be ready to start the eye look. And um, we'll just have some fun today on video. I don't really have a specific eye makeup look in mind. Um, you know what I just thought about? I promised myself. I found the the instructions. Well, they were already in the um, Makeup Forever Artist Shadow 3 palette. They have like a booklet that comes. Let me see if I can grab the booklet. But I tried one of the eye looks out of there that they suggested on how to use. And I did not even realize that these are the these are combinations. Like the... Um, this whole this is can create an eye look and this can create an eye look and this can create an eye look. So what I'm gonna do is I think yeah. So um no I don't know that I'm gonna play with this one today or not. I'm, I'm just not even sure what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna take my polish off because I worked yesterday and my nails look a mess. Um so that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'll come back and we'll I'm gonna wash my hands, start the um the whole look for today and then we'll see where it takes us okay so i've got my eyebrows on um yeah this i'm going to get them done today um <laughs> they need to be cleaned up a lot but um yeah i'm just gonna set the uh today i just laid down some laying low but i'm just gonna set a little bit of it with the this um rcma translucent powder just a little bit because i think i'm gonna do just kind of keep it neutral, the eye. Well, no, I'm not. Let's just see. Uh, yeah. Because I think I'm going to smoke it out into the blue itself. So, yeah. We we'll kind of keep it. Let's just see what I can play with today. Let's just see what we come up with. How about this? I thought I'd try one more thing today. I think it's Kim's Goofy Day. Um gonna go in and prime this is my i already moisturized you guys know i moisturize with the elf daily hydration i like it it works great for me and then this is the black radiance true complexion shine control primer nothing has changed i love this primer it really works so get that rubbed into the skin um yes and then let it sit on the skin for a while i mean i let it sit and then I go in with like a smoothing primer or, you know, just something to kind of fill in those pores a little bit. And that's really only, I only really do that on my cheek area right here when I go in with the second primer. But yeah, I let this sit and soak in and dry and all that good stuff. So, yeah, same thing. Uh, this part of the routine has not changed. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Setting my eyebrows that I done that I did. <laughs> Ooh -wee. I'm setting it with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I like it. It works pretty. It's, it doesn't harden them to the point that if I need to brush through them again, um, I definitely can. So yeah. You know I'm going to get my eyebrows done. Now. I got errands to run, um, so I can't be looking eyebrows. So most of the eyeshadow look is going to come out of this with Stefani Herb and Decay. I'm going to start off with um, Stark and, um, and I think the blue that I'm going to use is going to be out of Buxom. You know what, let me try and see if I can just use the whole Buxom eyeshadow custom palette. So I'm going to start off with um, the Buxom eyeshadow color, give me gorgeous, but I'm going to use that blue I think to smoke out the bottom with that electric blue. Um, and I probably would have to use... Um, brown skirt from MAC just as a uh, transition color in here because I broke my transition color that I normally use from Buxom. Uh, yeah, I try to, I'm, I like to try to use the eyeshadows together. I like to try to switch from one palette to the other, but today I just, and since I have the brown skirt in a uh, single by itself, that's okay. So yeah, I'm going to keep it pretty neutral up here. 
I'm going to transition with brown script and then I'm going to uh, kind of use the outer, I mean the, if I want to deepen the crease a little bit, I'm going to use Buxom's uh, Filthy Rich to get that done. It's just a richer brown and then I'm going to use that blue from Buxom. Let's see, I just want to get all the color names out. Um, the blue Buxom color is called Schmooze. Okay? So, yeah. Like I said, so yeah, I'm just going to keep it pretty neutral up here in this eye part, which I still, I love this color. Um, when I'm trying to, you know, just trying to keep everything neutral right here. So, with this same brush, I'm going to go in now with, um, brown script and I'm not wanting it to be heavy right now um, so that's why I'm using this fluffier brush it kind of diffuses the color and doesn't make it uh, but I'm gonna go in with another kind of deeper brown not it's just it's kind of like this color but just a little bit deeper that other color from Buxom See, I'm going to finish blending this in. I'll I'll I was filming, but all I did was take um, the other richer brown from Buxom. I think it's called Feel the Rich. And I'm just kind of deepening the outer and bringing it in just a little bit. I'm using this little bit. And I'm using this, um, uh, what am I using? This 217 from MAC to kind of just create that depth right here in the socket part. And then I'm going to go, like, all I'm doing is creating the more definition right here. Because remember, we transitioned with uh, brown script from MAC. And this is a, almost the same color, but just a little bit deeper. And I'm using a different kind of brush to kind of give me that definition. This right here. And because I do want that uh, blue to pop, I am going to go in with uh, NYX's uh, Milk and kind of just do it a little bit on the lid. Not much, just a little bit um, where I'm going to lay the blue. Okay, and then we'll blend it out. And it's just so that... Uh, that blue will pop. I'm hoping that that electric blue is a little bit deeper so I can create a little bit of a contrast on the bottom for me. So yeah, let me just kind of blend that out. And um, yeah, we'll hold tight, take my real techniques brush. And I'm gonna pick up that smooth color from Buxom. And this is more matte, so yeah. Everything we laid down has been really mad. I think oh, it's kind of satiny mad. I don't know. Just get it laid down, and then we will um, oops, okay. Blend it out. Blend out that little harsh edge, and I took it a little bit up into the crease. Not much, but I'm gonna take my um 217 it has the buxom color on it and just kind of blend this out you may have to go in with a little more product So for the outer, I'm just going to take a little bit of this dark gray from uh, Buxom called Hot or Yacht, I think is the name of it. And I'm just going to push that into the outer corner right here, just to give it a little more depth. Not much, just kind of keeping it right there. Okay. I didn't want to do black because... I just didn't. This was already getting a little too dark. So, I'm going to take the lovely, um, I'm going to take that 217. I don't know why I did it. I just hit it. Oh, it was hitting. And just kind of 
flat, lay it flat against the, and just kind of brush that over just a little bit. Cause that gray kind of seemed like it was being picked up anyway. So that's all I did was take a little bit of the darker gray and just kind of rolled it right here. Keep it right there. Okay. So this is pretty much the eye um, look. I'm going to clean it up, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and put down my Inglot 77 gel eyeliner. This is one of the blackest mattes that I've seen or used. I've been using it for a while. And I'm going to try to do this on camera. Yeah. <laughs> this is hard. So you see I start in the middle. Make small strokes. Okay. It's kind of like you're connecting up the lines. And then smooth it Going out. in with the second primer, the Pork Professional by Benefits. Um, and I just concentrate this in. You know what? Let me not use that today. Let me try. I've been meaning to. I just keep looking at it and just keep forgetting. Let me try the Becca Beck Light Priming Filter. Let's see how that works today. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so yeah, let's try it. For the inner rim, I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's Perversion. And uh, this is the blackest I've ever used before. But I really like it because once you put this down, to me, it doesn't move. And it doesn't irritate my eyes, like it doesn't make them water. So you see, it's not even, I'm not even applying any pressure, and it just gives you a really great black. So I am going to do a little color correcting um, and I'm almost out. You don't need a lot of this because once you kind of just put it in the places that you want it, kind of fix my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot, just kind of, you know what, it kind of has these molds a little bit. So I just take um, this little elf stippling brush and I just kind of like pounce it in just so it's on those spots really, the area or spot that you kind of want to color correct. And I try to especially on my eye you can see so I'm taking out a little bit of that darkness So what I'm going to do is to kind of bring a little bit light back to my eyes. Uh, I'm going to take Becca's uh, brightening corrector. And I'm going to lay it down on top of this uh, orange. Because I feel like when I smoke out my eyes, I don't want them to look so closed. And this just kind of helps keep that under eye kind of bright. So I just take uh, my BH Cosmetics. Oh, no, this is a Real Techniques. I'm sorry. Real Techniques uh, Tapered Foundation Brush. And I just pick up a little bit of the... And I just go in and lay, lay it down. See, I think that just lifts my eyes up a little bit. And just grab you a wedge, you know, and just kind of, because I don't want to move it. I just want to blend it in. Right underneath, where I know I'm going to kind of smoke out my eyes just a little bit. And you can bring it out if you want to. And so when I do this, I don't use a lot. I don't put conceal a lot of concealer. What I'll show you is I kind of start my concealer a little farther down. And my foundation. So, yeah. Just make sure it's well blended. See, it gives you that brightening effect. It kind of cleans up your eye stuff a little bit. <laughs> 
So I'm going to put my foundation on. Then I'll come back and show you guys concealer. But avoid putting the foundation here. Because I did use a, a corrector. And I'm going to use. I used a little bit of this. Becca Bright Correcting. And, um, and, I, and I'm going to use a concealer to highlight with. So I'm not going to put foundation there. And I think. I'm just gonna go. Let me figure out what foundation I want to use today. I'm just gonna go in with my uh, Too Faced Born This Way. I was gonna wait till um, I had a chance to use the concealer with it. Um, they came out with new concealers. I, I want to try, but I'm just gonna wait. I mean, I'm gonna still try it with these because I just want to see if the combination of that and this works really well together. So yeah, this is the foundation I'm gonna go in with today, and I'm in the color Maple. So for concealer today, I just used the Cover X. Um, NC60 out of my Cover FX Contour Kit. And today I'm also going to use the highlighter that came in this kit. It is also called Candlelight, but it's not in the liquid form. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to see. I think maybe because I didn't know how to use it before, but I think I know how to use it now. Okay, so I haven't used this Cover FX uh, Contour Kit in a while, but I now I know why I fell in love with it. It just blends so well. And all I'm doing is cleaning up my contour a little bit right there. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and kind of blend it in. Just to make, clean it up just a little bit. And if you kind of want to give it a sharper look, that's all. Alright, I'm about to go in and set everything and bake. And then that way I can figure out what I'm going to put where to work today. Um, yes, this is still on my face baking, as they say, because um, I do have a long day, and I actually like for my makeup to kind of stay like I, when I do it in the morning or afternoon. This is the afternoon, and I got a long day. So, what I'm doing here is taking this electric blue color and going underneath. the blue, I mean, uh, uh, underneath the waterline. So yeah, I did extend it kind of far. And then all I'm going to do is take that same blue that we used earlier. And I have to forgive my sinuses are on fleek today. I'm just going to swirl my little pointed brush, BH118. And go right into that cream to set it. Just want to make sure that it's that cream is blended out really well. So I just take my little puff brush and kind of make sure. All right, I'm going to take the brown that we used earlier, not the the one that, I'm going to take the one from the buckle and kind of make sure that that's smoked out even further. So I'm just going to take a little smudger brush of BH103 and pick up that filthy rich color and go right underneath, because um, I'm still baking, go right underneath that and just kind of smudge that out. get rid of a little harsh line but I am gonna go back over there with a little bit more of that blue on top of the brown I want the blue to pop okay so yeah I'm gonna take a little thinner of a brush and go right in with that blue that's that's just the blue I wanted to show I'm gonna, I'm not gonna
So I'm going to take a little bit of this topaz. I dumped it out because I didn't have a container for it just yet. And I'm just going to kind of start to bring some warmth back to my face with the topaz. And I'm blending everything in at the same time and sweeping away. Kind of like buffing it in. It's kind of been liking the way this has been looking on me. I'm just really right here. And everything else is a sweep. Setting all the other places that I did not bake with. Not so much moving. I just kind of like swept under the eye for the lower mercy that I have baked with. Because you kind of want to keep that area bright. Just to keep your eyes awake. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so here is the final look. Um, I did top my... I didn't use the Cover FX Cream Highlight candlelight i used the liquid one and then i just went over on top today i used i think it's called what's it called bubbly out of the anastasia glow kit so yeah just to get that glow and then on the cheeks i just wanted something like a little blush of color so i used um nars orgasm blush on the cheeks and on the lips today i just i don't know i wanted something kind of metallic -y. So the only thing, closest thing I had was the melted uh, metal color peony, melted metallic peony from um, Too Faced. Um, I think I'm going to blot a little bit right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what look I'm looking for. But I still like it. Um, yeah, so like I smoked out the uh, bottom with the blue. And um, I like everything. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, there's a close-up. On my eyes today, I just have the Urban Decay... Uh, what is it? Fatty? Oh, yeah. The Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara. That's all I have on my eyes. I didn't do my Marc Jacobs today. Um, yeah. I just like to switch it up in between those two. Plus, I'm packing and get trying to get my makeup pulled together, which is probably one of the hardest things for me to do. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm just playing around on camera with y'all. <laughs> they never pick a good pitch shot for when I get ready to upload to YouTube. So let's see what they pick today. So yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. This is all well blended. Um, voila, that's it. So until next time, I'll see you guys. Oh, I, yeah, so I did tell you the foundation today was Too Faced, right? I'm going to try it with the Too Faced Concealer um, maybe tomorrow and then I can film it since I don't think I'll have time later on in the week to do another video. We'll see. Um, but thanks YouTube. Bye-bye.